quite herbaceous um, and the, the tannins on the, the palate are very, very gravelly as well, which is uh, um, uh, quite unusual for a 407. Um, it's you know, relatively green and leafy, um, black and red jubes on there. But uh, uh, there is a bit of a, a touch of vegetal to it as well. It's, it's not, a, not an overworked wine, which actually works in its favour. So, I quite enjoyed this wine. Um, oat forward, yes, but I suspect that might actually ameliorate the time. You know, too young to drink, clearly, now, but you know, I can see this being a, a, a pleasant wine to drink in five to five, 15 years, yeah. Um, for me, it's a, quite a solid varietal cabernet. Um, sort of attractive sort of mulberry, raspberry on the palate. Nice firm tannin. Um, you know, it's concentrated, but to me, it's sort of a bit sweet and a bit green. Um, so for me, I reckon this would be a wine to be drunk young. Um, a little underwhelming, I think, would be my overall impression. It's, it, it, it's um, you know, it's very immediate and very powerful on the nose. It's, um, you know, very much Penfold's house style again. Um, you know, I, it sort of leaks from the glass immediately. On the palate, I actually like the weight. Um, I like it on that slightly leaner side. I would actually enjoy drinking it. I'd have it, you know, I'd quite enjoy it with a steak probably, but um, I don't, can't see it lasting for very long. Like, I'm quite happy to drink it now, next three to five years. Uh, with, with a meal, but uh, it's really not exciting. It's nothing brilliant for a 407. I've tasted a lot better than that in the past from them. It's a little bit disappointing. Very, um, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's actually, to me, it just, it's a bit heavy and I oh, just, I'm not loving it. Okay. That's not